Hi, I'm Courtney Herring and I'm a therapist here at Worcester Youth and Family Counseling Services. Today I will be walking you through an expressive art activity called Combating Your Inner Bully. This activity is usually good for children probably ages like 10 to mid-teens. And this is an exercise that will help these ages combat negative self-talk. So, again, just to reiterate, expressive art is completely open to interpretation. There is no right or wrong way to do expressive art. And you don't have to be artistic to complete this activity. So all we need today for our expressive art activity is a piece of paper and coloring utensils. Color pencils, crayons, whatever feels right to you. So our inner bully is something that tells us negative things about ourselves. It can be really, really mean sometimes. If we're taking a test, it can be, you're going to fail, you're stupid, you can't do this. All of those really negative thoughts that come into our head. So the first thing I want us to do is draw what that inner bully might look like. When we're hearing those negative self-talk, what does that look like? It can look something like a monster. It can look like of a sad person inside of our head. Whatever feels right to you, I want you to draw that. And then the next thing I want you to do is pick a color that maybe you view as negative, harsh, what does anger, what does negative self-talk, what does that color look like? A lot of times people choose red, people choose a color that they really just don't like and I want you to use that to write down your negative self-talk. So things like, I'm a disappointment, give up, you can't do it. Okay, so once we have that, once we have our bully and our negative self-talk, I want to give our bully our name. So a name that just kind of sticks out to you. Um, we have Butch here and we have Sam. So whatever name points out to you that you want to name your bully, write that somewhere on your paper. What naming our bully is going to help us do is kind of taking all of our ne negative self-talk out of our head and putting it on paper. It's a little bit easier to talk back to it when it's outside of our head and we can see it. Sometimes seeing these negative self-talk really brings up a lot of emotions for us, and that's okay. So we're going to work on, after we name our bully, of kind of talking back to our bully of telling ourselves things, positive affirmations, or why maybe some of these comments aren't true. So if we have your annoying, writing over that in a color that you really like, um, you're outgoing and fun. Instead of you're annoying, you're outgoing and fun, and just trying to work around like affirmations around these negative self comments. So you can write on top of the negative self-talk, you can write outside of it, whatever feels right to you. This example is written all around the positive affirmations, and in this one, it's written on top. Again, it's completely up to your interpretation. So, now that we've walked through this, it can be a really helpful example when we're starting to have negative self-talk of bringing that bully out. Okay, this is Butch talking to me. What can I say back to him? And what can I do to combat this bully? All right, I hope this helps you shine, and I hope it was really helpful. Thank you.